bloody incredible. The views. Look at this. Exactly what? Isn't this amazing? <laughs> <laughs> We're so out of breath. We're walking to um, what's called Spiaggia Castiglione um, this morning in Amalfi. We arrived here last night. We've had a few issues with our Airbnb, but hopefully they'll be sorted by tomorrow. Um, and yeah. We've taken the scenic route on the old paths because there's like a Malfi Drive, which is the main road, but you really don't want to go on that because there's no actual footpath and it's super dangerous driving, um, as it is in the whole of Italy. And um, we've taken the old paths, which are quite um, physically, <laughs> physically challenging. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Physically challenging, but I'm actually okay. Liz is dying. Um, She's got 22 years on me. <laughs> and I also go to the gym five times a week, so... <laughs> I go once a month. <laughs> <laughs> the beach it's called Castiglione the beach and um, it's a pebble beach which I like because I hate sand <laughs> um, Liz prefers sand but the water is beautiful Liz has just been in for a swim I've been sunbathing <laughs> um, and I think I'm gonna read my book and then maybe go for a swim Liz looks really cool with her sunglasses and um, yeah. They gave us free limoncello at the end, which they didn't seem to do for anyone else. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, the pizza guy in Naples who um, came up to take a selfie with us and no one else. Um, everyone just fancies Liz. She's a great. She's a. She's a. I. I don't look like old enough for these men. Do you know what I mean? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like. I look like really young. Like I feel like they wouldn't want a twenty-year-old. Like they want someone who's at least twenty-five. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Apart from I don't know, like really weird men. Um, like you look like twenty-five. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> and I look twenty. So yeah, they they just they keep fancying Liz and they keep giving us free stuff and. How pretty does she look? Like? <laughs> She's very sweet. She's very sweet. <laughs> and I'm hot as well. She's very hot. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs>
coffee. And um, yesterday we went to the Duolio beach, which can only be accessed by boat, which is why we were on a boat, which was pretty cool, pretty nice. Although we think we preferred the Castiglione beach just because the Duolio was quite commercial. Like if you're up for paying for a sunbed and stuff, it's fine. But if not, the only area of public beach is literally like two by five meters. So, um, maybe a bit more, but it was fine. We liked it, but I think we preferred the Castiglione. A, if you didn't have to pay to get the boat, it was just a walk. And B, it was much more private. Um, less people and less commercialized. Like there was still an area on it which you had to pay for, but other than that, it was like the, the public, like free side was big. Um, and we just decided to pick up some bits for a salad last night to eat here because everything in our Airbnb is broken and we keep being electrocuted. Um, so yeah, it's a whole big dilemma. It's very annoying, but hopefully we'll get some money back. And um, yeah, it just means that we can't cook. We have to eat raw, basically, but it was fine. Um, we've been having like a nice, um, been having a nice time other than that. It's very upmarket, so I don't think I could stay here. It'd be way too expensive. And also, like, it's not very different from Amalfi. I don't think it's very different from Amalfi, except it's just more expensive. I think it's prettier. I think it's a lot more floral corner, to be honest. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful walking down here with all the flowers and the overhead trailing vines and things like that. It's definitely prettier. So. Yeah, but I think like the beaches are similar. The beaches are very similar, yeah. And like all the stuff they're selling is very similar, but just at a higher price. Um, so yeah, and it's easily accessible from Amalfi. So I would say if you're coming to the Amalfi Coast, don't stay in Positano unless you have the money. Stay in Amalfi and just visit Positano. Because it's not, I don't think it would be worth paying like, it'd be like an extra grand. And also, um, the, the ferry or boat system is much more expensive if you take the bus. If you're on a budget like us, take the bus. It was 440 for a return. For a return, so. Yeah. And we bring our own lunch. We're very, <laughs> we're very budgety. We're very economical. <laughs> yeah. Saving the planet by not being capitalist consumers. Yeah. Kind of horrendous fillers. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> She's lying. I hate the heights. I hate the coastal drive and the bus is like almost teetering over the edge into the sea and we're all gonna die. 
<laughs> I hate it. That sounds dramatic, but it's it's actually no, true. No, it is true. I mean, at least I got a seat, um, but we're just gonna get some. Cash I think I've pulled every game. muscle that I own, just trying to hold on and not bash into people. No, no, no. We're gonna get some cash out, and then we're gonna go for dinner. We're just gonna go like this because we don't. Well, I would go like this anyway. I'd be slightly less sweaty. <laughs> Um, I'm excited. I don't know about Liz. Um, <laughs> it's about a three hour hike, I think. So yeah, we're, we're up early. This is much earlier than my usual 10.30 a.m. wake up. I had to get up at 7.30 this morning, but we're gonna have to get up at five tomorrow in order to catch Liz's flight. So yeah, and I'm off to Budapest tomorrow. I've got a lovely 36 hours of traveling ahead of me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be bloody exhausted. But then it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all good. This is a great start. Yeah. And it's raining. Yeah. And we can't find our way out of a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know how people do this. We've just found some instructions on the internet and now it's raining and it wasn't supposed to rain on the forecast and yeah. And now we're back on the right track. Um, if you use the same website as us, the building over the road that they're talking about is not white, it's pink with a tunnel. So use that. I'm dripping in sweat. We've just reached Pon Pontone, which is the halfway mark from Amalfi to Ravello. And honestly, it's so worth it. The views are incredible. Absolutely incredible. taken us about two hours and a quarter, I'd say, like two hours and 15 minutes, maybe a bit more, to get here. That's including the getting lost bit, but definitely worth it. So nice. Travani. It's a lovely downhill walk which makes a change from the thousand feet climb that we did on the way up here and um, go check out a tattoo place as well. Slightly impulsive but hopefully it'll be cool.
back from dinner with two lovely Australian ladies that we met. We've drunk a lot of Prosecco. A lot. But it's our last night in Amalfi. It's my last night in Italy. And Liz is too. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna get through all these people. Um, heading back up to the apartment now. And yeah, that's it. That's Italy done. That's Amalfi done. Beautiful evening with lots of beautiful women. <laughs> of course, lovely Liz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to navigate these steps. Oh my gosh, these steps. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. But yes. Full of Prosecco, we'll be fine. Yeah, but full of Prosecco. <laughs> but it's okay, we're all good. And yeah, that's it. Signing off for Amalfi. Bye. Bye. Bye.